Hello, welcome back. This is Kench1913, and we are Let's Playing Legacy of Kane Defiance. In the last episode, Raziel got through a majority of Lord Dor's Manor as we head into the Spectral Realm as we try to get over to the area where Vlordor stored Yanos' body. As we're trying to bring him back so that Raziel can ask him questions, because he's got a lot of them. And now we're in the Underworld, or the, uh... Spirit world fighting off three of these enemy crabs. These creepy soul even kind of crab wraith things. And they're real pain in the ass because they're all sucking out Raziel's energy. They're a real pain. And they're real gross to look at. I mean, look at them. Have you ever seen anything as gross as this thing? Seriously. All right, now we're now we're looking. Fine. Oh, look, there's some over there. Make sure we're not missing nothing. Yay! So yeah, um, basically, you know, we got all the reavers. We got well, most of the reavers. There's one more to get. And, uh, let's go back here just to make sure I didn't miss anything. But Raziel, he's torn between, you know, he just defeated Cain. Feels like he's walked into the trap of the Hilden because he thinks he's the Hilden champion here. Although he wants to be the, the vampire champion so bad. Which I can understand. Because, you know, the, Hil the Hilden, you know, they're bad people. They're not cool, but you know what? They do have one redeeming quality is that they don't like the Elder God. And, uh, you know, they're against it. And, you know, the vampires, they kind of like force the, uh, ooh, look at this. These people are still here. And the vampires kind of force themselves, or force their wheel on the hill, and they didn't like it. Not gonna lie, they did not like it. Oh, look at this. Okay, so I guess we gotta go under the water here. There's really nothing we can do. And yeah, those guys there, I think they're New Hilden, but we will... We will meet them much later. Or we'll meet them later, and I'll... I'll go over what, what their deal is. So let's swim down here. See if we can do something. Oh, look at that. If we equip the Earth Reaver, we can actually be heavy underwater. And that, think of them like think of it like the iron boots from Zelda. We can walk on the water underneath or we can walk on the I don't know. And look, we, there's a book. Let's get the book. <laughs> Although I don't really need it. I'm just gonna grab it. Uh, more of these friggin' crabs. More of these friggin' crabs, you crabs. I'm gonna get some tartar sauce and you're gonna be all screwed. Stop sucking my energy! Die! Leave me alone! Yep. So yeah, Raziel, he's gonna, he's gonna try to revive Yanos. And get some answers. Alright, because he wants to know stuff. Alright. Because Janos, if you remember from Soul Reaver 2, he said the blade was forged for Raziel. And what does that mean? What does it mean that it was forged for him? That's why Raziel thought he was the Hilda Champ. I mean, he, that's why he thought he was a vampire savior. And then, uh, and that's, that's why Raziel's a really interesting character, because he's like, I don't know, he's, he's fooled by a lot of things, you know what I mean? He, look, he looks at all these pictures and he, and he looks at them and he's like, oh yeah, they gotta, I guess since they're on the wall here, they gotta be true, but that doesn't mean that they have to be true. Hey, look at this thing. 
There we go. Doesn't mean that they gotta be true. And look at this, we're in that room where, um... We're in that room where, uh... Where we had to go into the spectrum realm to get one of Blordor's thingies. So let's try to move this. Come on, move it. Grab it, Raziel. Grab the damn thing. Oh, there we go. And now let's move this over here. But yeah, so then Raziel saw that he had the, uh... The flaming sword and everything, and he thought he was the Hilden champ. Now one thing that we do know, or we might not know at this moment, but Cain basically, he's dead, sort of. Raziel ended him, and uh, he's actually what they call the Scion of Balance. And what that means is, uh, he's the one who can restore balance to the pillars. Okay, not just being the balance guardian, but also being the scion of balance. Alright, now let's take off the Earth Reaver. Swim up over here. Now we're actually... We're actually in the sewer area. So we're fairly close to the, uh... We're fairly close to the, uh, the thing where Yana Holden is. We can bring him back and then we'll learn some stuff. We will learn everything we need to learn, or, or whatever, I don't know. Oh, and these are the new Hilden, uh, basically they possess the vampires, I think. Any vampire graves over here, they possess the, uh, the vampires, and they have a, they have something. I'll, I'll have to fight them later and I'll show you what they're all about. Right now, let's just get to Yano's. Because I want answers, damn it. Alright, where is the door? There we go. Alright, we're almost there. We're about ready to learn the truth. Because Yano's must know the damn truth, right? This relic had come at so high a cost. My blood offering for the answers I sought from this enigmatic corpse. It was the price of my freedom, for which Cain had paid with his life. Had I journeyed so far and forsaken so much, only to have it end like this. I remember. Raziel, the heir of prophecy. You came for the Reaver just before the Seraphim found me. You've been entombed here for five centuries. Your murderers are long dead. <gasps> five hundred years? And Vorador? Also dead. Your bloodline is erased. The age of the vampires is coming to an end. Then we must waste no time. I'm not who you think I am. Nor is this a benevolent act. I have questions that apparently you alone can answer. Brazil, there are forces in this world that will strive to deceive you and pervert your destiny. But you must believe your arrival foretells the salvation of the vampire race. Why then would the vampires devise a weapon to consume and imprison their savior? No, that cannot be. While the blade yet exists, I am drawn inexorably toward my doom. It was you who bound me to this fate. Only you can release me. Raziel, you have been misled. You are ordained by prophecy to wield the Reaver. <sighs> and so I do. 
though not quite as you'd envisioned. Redeemer and destroyer. Is it possible? Did I misread all the signs? It seems your destiny is more labyrinthian than I had imagined. You must trust me, Raziel. We may have very little time. I will convey you to the place where your answers lie. So Janos is back, and he's bringing Raziel to some place. I'm going to tell you right now, Vampire Citadel. Where have you brought me? We are within the ancient citadel of the vampire race, long ago defiled and abandoned. This fortress endured through centuries of war against our great enemy, the Hilden. Yes. From this chamber, we witnessed the summoning of the pillars and the banishment of our adversaries from the land. <sighs> this is a dire omen. The binding is in peril. The hour of prophecy is at hand. It's too late. The pillars are already damned. As long as a single one of us stands, there is still hope. The pillars must not remain under human guardianship. They are not competent to serve. Why then did you allow the pillars to fall into human hands? Raziel, there is no time. I want answers. The world can end this instant for all I care. Very well. The Hilden cursed us as they fell, afflicting our race with a predatory bloodthirst. But with this transformation came our enemy's true revenge. Immortality. They liberated you from the Wheel of Fate. They imprisoned our souls in this flesh, expelling us from the purifying cycle of death and rebirth. And yet you pass the curse on. It was a necessary evil. Our immortality banished us from God's grace. He turned his sight from us and fell silent. Many took their own lives, unable to bear the separation from our God. Not you, though. Curse or blessing, it is the price we pay to keep the Hilden banished from the land. To sustain the binding, we had to preserve our bloodline, and so we passed the dark gift to the human successors of our fallen guardians. They rebelled, inevitably, refusing the curse and seizing the pillars as their own. And so we come to our present dilemma. While mankind governs the pillars, the binding decays. The Hilden strain against the barriers of their prison, scratching to gain a foothold back into this world. And what does all this mean to me? We stand at the threshold of a new eon, Raziel. And you are the fulcrum upon which our destiny turns. Beneath this room lies our innermost sanctum. The outer chamber has been opened. It appears events are already in motion. This token is the key to the mysteries you seek. I cannot accompany you. You must face this trial alone. If you prevail, you will have your answers. And if I fail the test? Then you will not return. All right, so... Golden Ouroboros. So Janos gave us this Golden Ouroboros, and he was talking about how the vampires created the pillars, as I mentioned to you before, to seal away the Hilden. And basically, as you, when humans took over uh, as pillar guardians, basically the seal began to weaken, right? And so the Hilden began to uh, get at the this the. the the gate and they began to push back and actually some of them were able to uh yeah i don't know what those guys are but some of them were able to uh get to uh, actually um what's the word possess themselves into this realm such as the seraphan lord and a couple of other and they have been able to do some stuff as we will find out later oh god we got this flame guy here Anyways, so, you know, that's why they wanted, they wanted, uh, vampires to, uh, 
to be the, the guardians of the pillars, but as humans, as humans revolted, not wanting to become vampires to be pillar guardians, they uh, they kind of weakened the, the whole thing. And now Raziel is going down into the uh, into the depths of the vampire citadel to find out, um, you know, all the stuff he 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 is. Uh, you know, he's got to find out all the uh, information. Try to find out what's sealed down there. Why? What's uh, what's the whole dealio? What's the fidelio with the uh, with the whole thing? And as you can see, there's a thing over here. It means Hilden are over here. And actually, I am going to end the episode here. And in the next episode. We will find out what is sealed underneath the Vampire Citadel and what Raziel has to do now that Kane is gone. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.